You've seen our next comic on America's Got Talent, The View, and Comics Unleashed. Please welcome Bone Hampton. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. What's up? How y'all doing? Oh, I see y'all booed up and coupled up. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I'm hating. I'm hating. I'm trying to get my single life together. I think my problem is my approach because I'm trying to figure out. I really realize is it's a thin line between flirting and stalking. <laughs> no, because if a girl think you cute, she will never accuse you of stalking her. Brad Pitt can be hiding in your bushes at 3 o'clock in the morning and y'all will be like, that's so romantic. Get low, Brad, get low. Peekaboo. I see you. You're so silly. Come through my back window. Ah! I show up at your job with a dozen roses and a teddy bear. You're like, how you find out where I work? Well, it would have been a lot easier if you gave me your real first name. Kimberly. Got me looking for some girl named Lisa working at the Walmart. Now her husband tripping. And I want the money back for the flowers I sent to her job. That's probably why I ain't got no girlfriend right now. That ain't why. Movie prices. That's why I ain't got no girlfriend. Expensive movies just ruined my dating life. Remember back in the day, fellas, when the movies used to be cheap, so you didn't really care if the date worked out or not? She'd be like, Bone, I don't want to go to the movies with you no more. You too loud and country. I don't care. 450. Bye. <laughs> Ain't nobody scared of you. My mama gave me $10. I got a dollar left. That's four more games of Donkey Kong. <laughs> You go to the movies nowadays, even the popcorn costs $975. Be like, girl, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got that kind of money in my life. I like movies, though. I don't mean to be bad about them. I was in a movie. I was in a movie called All About Steve with Sandra Bullock and Bradley Cooper. I played, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I played a security guard. I was on a TV show called My Name is Earl. I played a prison guard. And then I did a show called Medium where I played prisoner number two. I know people are like, how you play a prison guard and prisoner number two? It's because I take my glasses off. And then that makes me double-sided. See, like this, I could play a prison guard. Hey, Earl, you got to go to jail. Take my glasses off. Prisoner number two. Like this, I could play a pharmacist. Ha <laughs> ha! Drug dealer. <laughs> like this, I can get a bank loan. Yes! <laughs> Rob a bank. <laughs> so I just work with mine. And the cool thing is, because of the success I've had with TV and film, I get to have meetings with producers about getting my own show. And they know that I'm a faith-based comic, so I want to host my own reality show and call it Last Christian Standing. <laughs> That's where we take 10 random Christians, put them all in one church, and then tempt them every week with sin. <laughs> and then see who get voted off every week. That's the show I want to host. That's my show. Help me get through my diabetes. <laughs> Got the, I don't know why you're laughing at my diabetes. I don't know how I feel about that. I appreciate you laughing because everybody else, y'all feeling bad for me, but you ain't got to feel bad for me because I got diabetes. Trust me, I earned my diabetes. <laughs> By the time I went to the doctor, he was like, how much sugar did you eat? Uh, enough to get type two diabetes. Now, will you help me? Give me a bracelet or something. Because here's the problem. When you got diabetes and you see food you ain't supposed to eat, you got to make a decision. Huh. Is that worth getting my foot cut off? Uh, you know what? No, I don't even like coconut cake. <laughs> oh, it's red velvet cake? Wait a minute. Hold on. 
Hold on. Ooh, I can walk with a limp. Yes, I can. Red Velvet is good to me. I like it. I like it. <laughs>